the sap from the Ilala palm is used to make a rather interesting local drink. Hey, look, this is the place. Kulega Ka. How? How are you? Fine. Um, do you remember me? Yeah. Oh, Kandelenyon. Yeah. Oh, and. Yeah. Oh, Babu Khan. Is your father here? Okay. He's not here. Yeah. Maybe you can help me. Maybe yeah. you can help. You, you know, your father used to cut the injaman, the, the yeah. palm one. Yeah. Would you be able to show us how, how you do it? Yeah. OK. So show us how it works. Try and explain it to me a little bit. OK. Then you cut. Cut it two times. Yeah, you were straight. OK. Then mm -hmm. I take this. There, we fill it into there, OK? Mm. Oh, so you've got a little sieve in there, yeah. OK? Yeah. So you're using a piece from the Ilala palm, you yeah. put it there, then the juice goes in yeah. into the container. Yeah. It's clever, man. Now, how, how often do you do this? So you cut it in the morning, and you, you take the bottle and you put it into the two yeah. liter. At, mid, at lunchtime, you, don't, you only cut and yeah. you leave it. Yeah. And then in the evening, you cut again and you put it into that. Okay. I want to just taste it a little bit. It's quite yeasty. Yeah. It's a bit sort of like ginger beer. Sort of slightly sour ginger beer, but it's actually not too bad. Right away, the sap will start fermenting and in two hours, produces a mild intoxicating wine, which the locals love. Now, as a wine connoisseur, you've got to, was it smell the bouquet? It smells rather um, sour, but we'll try it. Ooh. <laughs> 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 mm. uh, I think I'll stick to a Sauvignon Blanc. 